The new 2020 Pixel Buds were released April 27th of this year, and I'm pretty impressed. If you guys remember the original Pixel Buds, you know they are nothing to be excited about and had this annoying cord between each earbud. Well, Google really stepped up a notch with their new wireless earbuds. So let's take a look. What's going on guys, it's Gino from Modern Accessory Review and on this channel I help you find the best tech and accessories for yourselves. As you already know, today we are talking about the Google Pixel Buds. Starting off with the build quality and design, I am a big fan of what Google has done here. They have stayed with their minimalistic modern style that we see in their other products and we have this small oval shaped charging case with this stormtrooper like look thanks to the black and white colors. The case has this nice grippy texture that is surprisingly satisfying and it fits into my pocket very easily. I really appreciate how small and compact these earbuds are because unlike the Powerbeats Pro, I can just throw these in my pocket or throw these in a bag and it won't take up any unnecessary room. As you can see on the bottom here, we do have USB-C charging and wireless charging, which is always great to have, and the flip-up lid gives us this nice snap that we see in the AirPods. The earbuds themselves magnetically attach to the charging case, and it is actually a really strong magnet, so you don't have to worry about the earbuds falling out if the case is open. As you can see here with this little test, I'm shaking these around a lot, and they don't budge at all. We also have two separate charging indicator lights that allow us to know how much charge we have left on the earbuds in the charging case. This is really helpful because a lot of wireless earbuds like the AirPods only have one battery indicator light for the earbuds, so it's hard to tell when you need to charge the charging case. But here we have two, which is definitely a bonus for me. The earbuds themselves are extremely small and minimal and kind of remind me of the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus because they're about the same size. The white outer part of the earbuds are actually a touchpad, which I will talk about later on in the video. And of course, we have the ear tip with three different ear tip sizes to assure that you get the best fit possible. Now, one of the most unique things about the Google Pixel Buds is this little fit wing right here. People have mixed opinions about this, but when it comes to my own personal opinion, I flat out love this. It gives me a great fit and fits in my ear surprisingly well. Not only do they stay in my ear, but they are very light and comfortable. I do need to mention that everybody's ear is different and some people complain about them not fitting well, but for me, the original AirPods never fit my ear and these are like you smashing the like button on this video. But in all seriousness, these fit way better on me than the original AirPods. Now, one downside about these fit wings is that if they don't fit in your ear, then you're pretty much screwed because they aren't removable or adjustable. They also don't have a super tight seal, so if you were doing intense physical activity, then there is a chance that they probably will fall out. That being said, I do believe you can use these as workout earbuds if you're just lifting weights and not trying to force them out of your ears. And I am gonna say this again, everybody's ears are different, so you're just gonna have to try them out for yourselves. Now, when it comes to the battery life, these have about five hours of playtime, which is about average and two and a half hours of listening time. And with the charging case, we get a total combined of 24 hours. We also have a quick charge feature where 10 minutes of charging will give you an additional two hours of play time, which is pretty impressive. And just a quick side note, this does have Bluetooth 5.0, which is the latest Bluetooth technology in the market right now. And similar to the AirPods, if you open these up and press the button on the back, a notification will pop up on your Android phone and then you can connect from there and it's super fast and efficient. However, if you don't have an Android phone like myself, I have an Apple phone, you're gonna have to pair the original way by going into the settings and then clicking the name of the earbuds. And if you do have an iPhone, then you will miss out on some features like the app. And the app just has some extra things like adaptive sound, which pretty much just raises or lowers the sound based on your surroundings, which to be honest, nobody really ever uses but I guess it's there for the Android users if they ever want it. Now, one big thing that iPhone users will definitely miss out on if you're using these earbuds is the Google Assistant, which is super incredible to have. Unfortunately, you won't be able to use Siri straight from these earbuds, which is kind of disappointing, and we only see Google Assistant. Now, the Google Assistant is really incredible, and simply saying, hey, Google, you can ask it different questions like the weather and all of that kind of stuff. Now, one more thing, going back to the app here, we don't have an EQ setting, 
which is really disappointing. If you aren't familiar with the EQ settings and stuff like that, it pretty much allows you to change the bass and treble to add more or less of whatever you want, just to kind of personalize the sound to your liking. Now on the more positive side, the Google Pixel Buds have incredible call quality. Google built their own technology inside each of these earbuds, which includes barometers that can tell when your jaw is moving, that will tell the microphones when you're talking or when to listen. Of course, I had to give you guys a mic test as well, so here it is. So as you guys can tell, the call quality is really incredible for wireless earbuds. Definitely let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. In terms of the controls, the touchpads gives us really easy accessibility and simply swiping forward or backward will change the volume, pressing once will pause or play your music, pressing twice will skip to the next song, and pressing three times will go back to the previous song. It takes a little bit of getting used to because the earbuds are so small, but once you get the hang of it, it's really nice to use. Also, these are IPX4 certified, which means they are protected against splashes of water, which means you don't have to worry if you get caught in the rain. Now moving on to the final and most important part of the video, let's talk about the sound quality. Right away, if you're someone who needs a ton of bass, then you're probably going to want to look somewhere else. We do have a little bit of bass, but it's nothing special and it's a bit on the lighter side, and we don't really get that thump. However, I was surprised how clear and crisp the audio was. We get some pretty good instrument separation, and overall I really enjoyed the audio. I think for the average person, these will be more than enough, but just keep the bass in mind. Now one feature I really wish these earbuds would have had is active noise cancelling, but I kind of see why Google didn't include this feature because it would have made the headphones bulkier and probably would have hurt the battery life. Instead, we just have passive noise isolating, which means that the only thing blocking the background noise is the fit of the earbuds. They don't have the best features and sound, but they do nail all of the fundamentals in my opinion. They are pretty much like AirPods for people with Androids. With a small minimal design, a really comfortable fit for long periods of time, really accessible controls, water resistance, wireless, and quick charging, and you get the point, these really have everything any average person would need in a pair of wireless earbuds. Definitely let me know what you guys think about the Google Pixel Buds in the comment section below. With all of that being said, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.